Welcome to part two of my Rotopax bracket build for my Jeep JL. So if you haven't checked out part one, check that out where I kind of walk you through the goals for this project. Um, there's also a subsequent video that my buddy Jeep MO put together on his channel. Kind of walks you through the welding process. But uh, we got the bracket back. Looks great. Came out exactly how I wanted. This gives you a little bit better idea of what this thing looks like fully assembled. So we got a location here for our Rotopax bracket. And then I incorporated a antenna bracket here. So probably gonna do maybe a, a flag or maybe like a WeBoost antenna or maybe even like a GMRS antenna. So in preparation for powder coating this bracket, I am gonna hit this with the palm sander. There are some just minor surface scratches. They probably won't, won't show up with the uh, texture black powder coating that I'm doing, but it doesn't hurt to kind of just clean that up to make sure that those don't come through. And when I'm doing this, I am going to gonna wear a mask. And they're just because kicking up kind of the aluminum oxide particles in the air. I don't really want to have that down in my, my lungs. So let's get started. Okay, I think we're done with the surface prep. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So we'll uh, take this off to the powder coater and when we get back, we'll show you the finished results. Bracket is back from powder coating. As you can see, this thing looks awesome. These guys did a really good job. So shout out to Enigma Coatings in Leander, Texas. They're my go-to for all my powder coating, so highly recommend them. And here's what our bracket looks like with the Rotopax attached to it. As you can see it over there, we got the antenna mounts. And here's what it looks like with the tailgate open. So as you can see, there's plenty of clearance above that rear tail light, especially if you have the, the factory tail light. Thanks for watching. Shout out to Larry for helping me with the welding on this project and if you have any questions feel free to post a comment.